Hi guys, this is Dr. Prajan. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Like always, it's such an honor to connect with you. Today, I want to talk about how to detach from other people's poor choices. How to detach from other people's poor choices, unconscious behaviors that really start affecting your emotional state. It really starts affecting your emotional state. What do you do, right? What do you do? So number one is identify it and process the emotions that go along with it. So don't deny that it's, it didn't happen. Don't deny that this is the reality. Accept it and process it. It's better to just feel the pain at that moment um, or a couple more moments until it starts dissipating through you, until it passes through you rather than storing it. You don't want it to get stored, right? Because then it's going to, those emotions are going to come out in other areas of your life. So extremely important to identify it, process it. Another technique that you can u- utilize is as soon as you start thinking about other people's stuff, just say to yourself, others, you could just seriously think about something, ad- an, 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 whatever you have an adverse reaction to, think of that and say, others poop, others poop, and let it, that thought dissipate, right? Like if it's extremely uh, excessive this, of like what this person did to you and it's really bothering you, I'm like, oh my goodness, how could he do this? How could she do this? Again, just think of something adver- adversive and put it with others and then say blah, blah, blah. So you can say, oh, for, for me, it's poop. So you can say, others poop, others poop. And then it helps, again, for that, it helps take that immense feeling, right? immense feeling associated with that person, right? That w- or whatever that person did to you. Next, remind yourself that successful people know their actions will be controlled by their current obsessions. Successful people know their actions will be controlled by their current obsessions. So extremely important to know what you're, what you're thinking about. What are you constantly thinking about? Because whatever you're thinking about, you're being controlled by, right? Your choices will be controlled by it. Lack of sleep, uh, not exercising because you're upset over whatever occurred. So again, reminding yourself of that. Instead, fill your inside with the story of your future, the story of all the greatness in your life, all the, all the gratitude. Don't focus on the lack or past or other people's actions. It's, it's easier said than done, but it can be done. Fill it with positive thoughts. Fill it with overcoming thoughts, thoughts of things you've overcome, right? All the, all the things you've accomplished. Think of all the things that will go right instead, right? So again, you can choose what your obsessions will be, your thinking obsessions versus, quote unquote, right? Versus just replaying the past. That's just only going to create more, lower your immunity. It's going to uh, decrease your sleep cycle. It just will really affect you physically and mentally. So really, really being aware of that. Next, remove yourself from negative influences that cannot be changed. So if there are negative influences that just won't be, will, just won't change because if there's some kind of uh, a trauma bond that's occurring because of uh, unhealed uh, childhood trauma, whatever it may be, in other people's lives, and it's something that's not going to change, just remove yourself from that negative influence. That's it. Keep your distance, right? This may involve situations where you're dealing with your in-laws and there's that trauma bonding going on between, you know, your spouse and the the in-laws and somehow it starts, it, it starts trickling over to you. Again, remove yourself from it. Or if it's with your biological family Wherever it's trickling into your life and it's coming at the expense of your peace, you need to distance yourself, right? Yes, have a relationship. It doesn't have to be... You, you can still be there for people, but not at the expense of yourself, right? You can keep people at an arm's length so it doesn't really negatively affect you and to a degree where you are... 
you know, hurting yourself physically or emotionally by lack of sleep and uh, these excessive thoughts of what's, how, you know, why did this happen? Why didn't he or why didn't she? And how could he and how could, right? So again, detaching from other people's poor choices, poor actions, right? Utilize these simple techniques I've just shared. It will help you, right? Remember, you matter. Your needs matter. Your values matter, right? So think, what would love do? What would greatness do? I know what greatness would do. The greatness would take care of themselves. What would love do? Love would love themselves, like the loving love, being love means loving yourself and loving others, but also setting boundaries as well, right? All right, guys, take care of yourself. You guys are amazing. You rock. I'll see you later.